Okay, and here we are, everybody. So welcome back. We're gonna do some more False Bound Kingdom today. We're all recording. We're gonna have fun. So first of all, I need to change Kaiba's monsters because this one is bad. And I got the water monsters. So let me take a look at those. Sea King Dragon, level one. It's purple. Don't you... You're kind of close to Kaiba's, like, uh, orb anyway, but we're, they're gonna get replaced with blue eyes anyhow. Still, I may as well just go with whatever works for the time being. Alright. Is this here? What about the third one? What did that look like? Water Girl's kind of outlived her usefulness as well. There it is. Okay, this one's like that. The first one seemed good. Anyway, how's the audio sound? All good? Not too loud, I hope? This one clearly has the best stats, so we want it for sure. Sea King Dragon. Your stats are decent, level uh, 16. Hmm. Brawling Dragon is just also okay. It honestly should be replaced at this point with one of the new monsters. Its attack points are too low for this point. Automatically has three stars. Yeah, I think I'll run with this for a little bit. Now, what do we have for items? Blue medicine, and I also have a bunch of silver bow and arrows now. Oops. It's weird how it uses X button and B button interchangeably for back. We'll just put that on. One monster reborn. And I suppose I'll just put one on you as well, because Kaiba's important. Not really using Rex at the moment. You're also doing okay here. Really, this thing should be swapped out as well if I can get, like... Because, yeah, its attack points aren't great. Don't have something to put on that. Black Pendant. You're really good once you get the ability to paralyze. And we're going to put more on you, so let's do this. I bought so many Silver Bow and Arrows, so we'll put those on because they're better. Now you're just an absolute beast, literally. And as for you, you got Black Pendant, Beast Fangs, Blue Medicine. That should be fine there. As for Mokuba... Okay, we can replace these two swords here. With the Silver Bow and Arrows. Make you even stronger. I suppose I'll just put Blue Medicine on you there, because you need it. Not using you that much. Legendary sword, okay. And I got three silver bow and arrows left. You can't sell items, right? You can only just delete them at the end. Enchanted Javelin. Who was able to use Enchanted Javelin again? Right, spirit monsters. I don't really have moisture creature for that at the moment. Silver bow and arrow, silver bow and arrow, beast fangs, and blue medicine. Just for the heck of it, I'll put a Monster Reborn on you, because you have all the action points. I don't know why, but Basic Insect has grown on me. I think this will be okay. Again, I'll keep these two off so I can get more money, because they're just gonna, like, steal the experience anyhow. Alright. That should be okay. Back out, make a save. So according to the guide here, I can't get another monster until Mission 12. And even then, on Mission 12, one of the monsters, it says, is, um, Lava Battle Guard. And apparently, if you don't have Swamp Battle Guard from Joey's campaign first, it won't appear. So, arbitrary replay for 100%. There's still other monsters we can get during that mission, though. Anyways, chat, it's been a long week. I've been looking forward to playing more of this. Many of you know it was pretty busy. Hi, but I thought you'd run off for good, and here I find you attacking me. You shameless traitor. I'm going to make sure the entire Empire knows you for the traitor you are. This is from the man that sentenced me to death on trumped-up charges. Go ahead. Either way, I'll achieve my goals when I put an end to your rule. I want you out of my way once and for all. Let's put an end to this now. I may be old, but I can still silence an insolent squirt like you. Come on, let's see what you got. Alright, this huge map. I remember this one. It was- I think it was this one in Yugi's campaign where you get, like, Gaia the Fierce Knight or something. Okay, so they're automatically gonna be coming towards me. Uh, I can't get Weevil into a forest, but I can put him to start. It's 
do some of this here. Yeah, let's do this right here. Okay, battle starts. He's got basic... He's got, uh, Weevil's monsters. The Weevil monsters from, like, his mission, I should say. Okay, looks like Spider Guarded. Oh, that one's got laser cannon armor. But apparently I can't get that until the end of the game. End of the campaign, anyway. Great. I accidentally hit wait. Always gotta get used to the weird button inputs for this. The question is... Maybe I should try and take out Basic Insect first, since it can use a spread attack on all of them. All of them. Oh, was he the one guarding? The camera angle made it look like it was the, um, spider. Oh well. Ugh, now you're guarding again, huh? Fine. Guess I don't have a choice. Hit the ant, see which one he decides to heal. Maybe a critical will end ya. Nice. Yeah, there it is. That guard pretty much ensured I had no choice but to just kind of deal with it. They still got one action point. Maybe I should let him use it up first. At this point, the basic insect kind of ruined that. Anyways, yeah, what was I saying? It's been a long week. I wasn't able to stream nearly as much as I wanted to. I think it was, like, during the last False Bound episode, I mentioned that my, uh... He still hasn't attacked yet there, jeez. Fine, I'll go for crit. My oven broke, and I had to get that replaced. Soldier Spike. Okay, he's just doing a regular attack. Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it. I was able to get it replaced very quickly, but I pretty much had to take an entire day off just to wait for it to arrive, which was annoying. Because the delivery time was, like, right in the middle of the day, and it was just, like, a few-hour window. By the time it did show up, I had no time to stream. At the very least, I can, uh, cook food again. That's good. 171. Don't like that spider's arms. They don't look they don't look nice to me. All right, let's get rid of the medicine holder now. I should have just went for the ant right away. Let's get it. Food is always good. Yes, it is. Okay, one more. Home cooked meals are comfy. That's right. Nothing beats ending the day with some comfy food and video games. It was also freezing last night. Or all of yesterday, really. Luckily, the weather didn't end up, end up being as bad as they said, but it was so cold. I couldn't even run my dishwasher, because, like, parts of, like, the, the where the water was coming in for it froze. It's been a long time since I saw that happen. Okay. Snake hair didn't level up. That's fine. All right, Mokuba, get in there and finish him. Here they come again. Oh, wow, yeah, it was just one guy with 7 HP. I forgot. Must have just completely blanked on that. I thought there was more. How much experience do I get for that? Apparently, a lot. That's pretty cheesy. Donkey's the heavy hitter right now. So, quick question. If anyone who is here happens to know, is there any, like, um... Is there any specific bases that have good, uh... Stuff to purchase for this one? See Dragon Zombie and Zonky there. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, it's your turn, Kaiba. Let's see what they got. No medicine. Hmm, the dragon's got the most, the most attack point, or action points and HP. 
Problem is, two of my monsters are level 1, so this probably wasn't the best place to send them into first, huh? I should see if I can just KO Zonky, then. Let's do that. A miracle crit would be nice. I'm at serious risk of just dying, but it's fine. Even if I die, I just restart the mission and we'll be okay. Okay, zombies guarding. You have a lot of defense points, so I'm not breaking that guard, apparently. Just hit the pumpkin. That one's guarding. That one's also going to guard. Wow, fantastic. I literally can't... I mean, they're wasting their action points, and I'll get experience for this, so this works out, but they're making it a little annoying. Those spikes ought to hurt. Alright, just keep going with it. They don't got medicine. Can't stall you out. If I can get more beast fangs, that would be helpful. Black Pendants would also be good. Got a handful of monsters that could really use more of those. The only thing I was able to super stock up on was, like, the Silver Bow and Arrows, which just buff warrior monsters to an absurd amount. So yeah, if you get the Undead item, you can turn Crawling Dragon into Dragon Zombie. But apparently, by the time you get it, it's just not, like, worth it, I guess. All right. They've got a lot of remaining action points. This is going to be rough. I hope these two attacks from Ryokishin here can end it. And hopefully they don't get a crit to end me. Come on, just one more. I don't know if the AI, like, targets a specific monster with, like, the lowest HP value or something. Or if it's purely random. Kind of feels like a mix of both sometimes. Wouldn't shock me if they gave just no AI at all, but what do I know? Clearly this GameCube game had a lot of uh, time to be developed. Alright, so we removed one action point from you and your monster. The two to the side here are level one, so this will help. Okay, he wasted one of his, his action points on guard, that's good. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Come on. Okay, Kaiba certainly did good there. Come on, lads. Only level two. All right. Are they gonna swap? Oh, okay, Weevil was close enough that he can take over, though. I was hoping that would happen. I wasn't sure if it actually would work, though. I think the dragon guarding when you has no when I have no actions left speaks volumes for the AI. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, wish I had the laser cannon armor. Wish I could get it off the opponents, but oh well. Little acid spit right there. This game is comfy, although very slow. Isn't that what we're all here to see? Comfy, nostalgic video games we remember, vaguely. If a game like this came out nowadays, with this amount of effort put into it, it would get roasted online for sure. It's one of those things where we only really love it because we were just, like, kids that didn't know any better. We, we thought, like, hey, I like Yu-Gi-Oh! What's this at the video store? I want to rent this. And then, you could, and then you couldn't get past the first few missions, and then we're just like, wow, I must be bad at it. This must be super hard. Then as an adult, you realize, no, it was just, like, developed in a very chaotic way. There goes that. Hmm. I have to heal Garuzus. Four. Let me use medicine on Garuzus. Garuzus will be fantastic when I can get its level up. That's what we were working on before. 
I like that pose Weevil does. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna win. Weevil looks like such a dork. A little bit more. Hmm. Doesn't look like I'm gonna finish him. Maybe Kaiba can. Depend on how this interaction goes in the overworld. I might be able to finish him with two attacks. Don't kill Garuzas, please. Okay, you're fine. Oh, I might just barely not kill him. Yep, 4 HP left. Come on. I was hoping for a little more there. That's fine. Basic Insect. I, I'm using this thing for, like, the memes now. And I'm gonna give it Laser Cannon Armor for Yugi's Campaign. Alright, this swapped and Weevil's fighting again, I guess. Take it out. I think one, to make it less confusing, once I finish Kaiba's campaign... Oh, nice! Martial stat level up. Um, once I finish Kaiba's campaign, I'll call that a finale, and I'll just title, like, a new part one as, like, Yugi Seconds. Because otherwise, when I put... When I'm doing Yugi's campaign... Oops. It's going to be confusing to put Kaiba first in the, in the title. Oh, the ones with the doll. This is good. Blue medicine, blue medicine, three red medicine. Yeah, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Risk and escape isn't gonna do super great for me. I need, like, someone stronger than, than with Kaiba's new monsters for this one. Maybe I can get lucky and hope I get crits on the ninja. Or at least hope I loop them into using their medicine that they never attack me. Yeah, that strike. Never know if a crit could happen. Aqua Breath. They seem to be targeting Ryukishin most of the time. Oh, this is gonna be such a pain in the ass, yeah. Yep, red medicine restoring everything. Heal you up. Hard to train you. Hmm. Still got action points. If I can at least survive the encounter, I'll get experience, I hope. But is Kaiba gonna be stuck in an infinite battle loop again? Crap. Even if I escape, it'll probably stuck, uh, stick me in a loop. They all have medicine, and the Axe Raider with even with a stronger one. Wait a second, when parties respawn, do they respawn with all their medicine intact? I don't actually know that. Uh, I can't remember if that came up in the last playthrough at all. Oh, I got the critical. Oh, he's almost dead. Oh, so close. If that was maybe just a level or two higher, that definitely would have killed. Just keep attacking, and they'll waste their turns using the medicine, and I can farm experience at least, I hope. Come on. No, we got the red medicine. All right. Now he's back to full health. This is why the healing items in this game are so obnoxious. Fine, you're fine. You're gonna keep attacking Ryukishin, so let's just heal him. Kaiba will eventually get blue eyes. That's all he needs. But holy moly, is this annoying. 
What? He just waited twice and then attacked when he's the only one with a turn left. Yeah, you're right. There is no AI in this game. It just picks moves at random. Oh, wait, I won that? I, I barely even got anything for it. Wow. Oh, no. I think I may have lost. I'm going to have to reset the mission now. Unless I can kill that guy on the right before he gets a chance to move. Quality game design mechanics here. And at least he's out of red medicine. <laughs> right? At least he's out. At least he's out. He missed. Nice. Hmm. They're only attacking Ryokishin, so I just gotta keep him healed up, I suppose. I don't really get any experience unless a monster gets KO'd. Oh, I got a critical hit. And heal up again. Well, Garden's just going to, like, pass time. I need to take out the monster. Okay, he's guarding now. Fantastic. I'm stuck in a bad spot now. 1500. Everyone can break the your guard then. Hmm. Gonna run out of blue medicine here myself. I all still have multiple actions left. Blue med at least the red medicine's gone, so we can't heal the full. Uh, not doing much though. Reactions left. Come on. Yeah, there it is. Just keep attacking. Maybe I'll still win the encounter. I use medicine. Nope. out of action points now. And I have just the one. Fantastic. This is a really annoying mechanic, how, like, after the battle we swap places, but we're still close enough that we just instantly, uh, battle again. Ugh, still nothing. All that for nothing. <laughs> how did this get past testing? Oh my goodness. Well, monsters are dead now, and there's not really anything I can do about it. Trying to train Kaiba right now is brutal. Oh my goodness. He used blue medicine. Come on. I pretty much am I'm stuck in a loop until he finishes me off now. This is really lame. This is really, really lame. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's hit him again. because this is all I can really do now. It was just a few monster teams with like no items and then all of a sudden they're all they all show up packing just healing items. 
Well, may as well try using this. Back with half health. And they're gonna finish that one now. All of a sudden, everybody gets full restores. That's what it feels like, yeah. And he guarded. Not much can be done. There's no way for me to just, uh... Pause and retry the mission. I think I have to lose. And losing conditions are just like, uh, Kaiba loses, basically. At least I got free experience out of it. But man, does this feel bad to be stuck in a loop, doesn't it? Okay. Wow, I just barely lost. Ryukishin got, like, experience. That's the problem with getting some of the new monsters, is they have high attack power, but they still need, like, those initial level ups to be- Oh my goodness, finally! He actually left Kaiba alone! He just barely just got through him that time. I, I was- Wow, I'm shocked. Problem is, Garuzis is about to die, but... So I, I kind of forgot about that, because we were battling that this dude for like 20 minutes. And that's how you do it. That is how you kill. <laughs> okay, now I gotta take out the middle one. Yeah, let me get a drink. Don't attack Aruzis. There we go. Now let's heal you up. I already spread out most of my good monsters to other marshals. Kaiba, I keep trying to give him good monsters, but like, they're not good enough at this point. Like, but I have to keep li uh, Kaiba's level up itself. So... Because, I mean, he's gonna... He's just gonna run the three blue eyes when I get them. We all know that's happening. Like, that's just... Of course, I'm not gonna spread the blue eyes out among different people. That, that would just be lame. There we go. But it just feels so wrong, because he's freaking Seno Kaiba. But all the other monsters just match other people way better. With, like, the way their affinity orb is set up. Wish I had an extra good warrior to give him, but Mountain Warrior is garbage. It came with Garuzis. Okay. You got one left. But it's Blue Medicine. This is Mokuba's story now. Yeah, I like how I had the items to make Mokuba's monsters like a killing machine. Barely need damage on that. I don't think I'll be able to kill it, but we'll see. I gotta get Kaiba back to base and rest up. He's, uh, he needs time out. He needs to sleep. Do you get points for healing? You do not. Guess that's supposed to be the downside, quotation marks. Oh, nice! Actually got a crit there. Okay, just hit it a little bit, soften up for next next round. The AI, if the AI can potentially heal, it will. That's pretty much how bad it is. Mongruzis. Nice. Wish I could give this to Kaiba's monsters, but no, that ain't happening. I'm surprised I didn't like game over pretty much. Now let's get in there and finish him off. Okay, HP is high enough. He only has two stars. There was something going on at the bottom of the map as well. I need to check on that, but... This guy has pretty much been preoccupying my time for the past, like, half hour, it feels like. Well, it's not even that much of an exaggeration. Hmm. 
And he's going for the basic insect. Nice. When Garuzus hits, it hits hard. Nice. Oh, Big Insect got another action point. I'll take it. Okay, lads, you gotta get back there for sure now. And there's Mokuba's back. Oh, it's a copy of the guy I just spent the last eternity fighting. <laughs> Alright. Remember when y'all said Mokuba should have been the one fighting him? Well, looks like you got your wish. Exact copy. Oh my god. Okay, so Mokuba's monsters hit hard. I'd say I should try and kill... Hmm. Try and kill the ninja first. Did I miss? Of course I missed. Great. Wish I could see the turn order, but that's not gonna help. Come on, let Zanki attack first. He can definitely finish off him. Zanki's got three silver bone arrows on, so yes, here we go. 523. You love to see it. Okay. Look how much faster that was when I use monsters that can actually fight. <laughs> actually, monsters that are trained. He's gonna heal, but what can you do? And him once there. Uh, I was hoping Zonky would get a turn first. Oh well. At very least, this stops him from attacking me. Alright. Here to action points. Oh, Zonki nearly just one shot at that lad. Wow. I should attack the middle one, but it's guarding. I don't want to risk it getting healed. All right, then. Mokuba pulling all the work today. Just carrying this whole, like, army. He didn't heal? Surprising. Nice. Mokuba gets stronger. That's the rule. Nice. Ooh, Hercules Beetle got an extra point. That's fantastic, because that was its downside, is that it doesn't have as many action points. Sick. Liberated. Okay, no trader here. So is there any place I want to purchase a trader? I definitely would want to know if that's the case. Let's send you up here. Oh, they got cannons? Hang on, what kind? Air cannons, crap. Bonds is the worst one to send out, because I, I have a monster that does that. I guess Pegasus would be fine to send out here, then. Let me check the trader for here right now. Blue medicine. I guess I can afford to buy one more of these for now, for later. Put it on people's team. There's a trader in the, one of the fortresses. It has Cocoon of Evolution. Okay, do you know which one, though? Because I have to purchase the trader which is really annoying and pretty much why you need to have a strategy guide for this stuff. A code of evolution, I don't even sure if what... Larva Moth is, I think, mission 12. I can recruit it, so that could be useful. Castle right arm. Castle there. The one to the right of the enemy base. Uh, I'm assuming you mean this one, then, but that's not a fort. Or did you say fortress? Oh, you said fortress. Okay. Castle left arm. Wish I could rule two castles, like, next to each other like that. That'd be sick. Oh, he doesn't seem to have great ones. He's got Silver Fang. That's one of Yugi's early recruit monsters. And Beaver Warrior is one Yugi just starts with. Let me just... Medicine. Okay, only two of them have medicine. Fantastic. 
His Pegasus is strong enough to kill one before it comes into play, though. Guess we'll have to just try. Three ten. Yep, there's first heal. Luckily, they don't have red medicine, so they can't just like. Oh, we missed. Sick. So we can't just heal everything. So if I keep attacking it. Four forty-eight. I'll have to send Mokuba to the top uh, fortress now. See if I can get that. Every turn of theirs is just going to be a heal turn now. Pegasus isn't overpowered and strong, but he's strong enough that, like, every time they get a chance to attack, they'll probably just go for the heal instead. One more. Alright, perfect. Got him with two action points left. Wait, I missed? Wow, that, that really is a... That's terrible. Fantastic. And now he's healed almost to full because I missed. I love this game. Nothing to do but try and take him out. Dino impact. Smack him. Come on. Oh my goodness. I'm pretty much gonna have to wait until it's entirely out of medicine now, aren't I? Ugh. How many do they got left? Four. Four. I'm pretty much gonna attack him again right away, otherwise he's gonna heal inside his fort. Luckily, they didn't really damage me. Can I get some attack boosts? Wow, nothing. Sorry, nothing. I have that cannon there, so I have to be selective with who goes there as well. Okay, I get the first attack. I doubt this is gonna kill Silverfang, but we can try. If it wasn't for that miss last time. Oh, good, I just barely got him. Sick. Okay, now they hit the beaver over and over. Guard. It may be a rat, but it's ten but its name is Beaver Warrior. Hit him. Oh, come on. Now he's gonna heal. This is the only thing the AI will do. He's guarding. Like I'm attacking you, buddy. Almost. Oh my god, please, seriously. Okay, it's his last action point. Now we can finish him. I think it's like the missions that involve the Emperor always have a bunch of like heal spamming teams, don't they? He's flashing his cash. All that's left is him now. This one doesn't have any healing items, so we're good. Um, should take the chance to just heal Dark Rabbit, though. We're gonna immediately go back in. Two opponents KO'd this time, so come on. 
Nice. At least there's some level ups here. Thanks for the sub there, friend. Okay, just get in there. I'm not gonna have time to send Mokuba to the other one now. I fully expected Kaiba to just die earlier and have make me reset the mission, but here we are. Spray him with some hot tunes. Eighty-nine. Aside from getting the Cocoon of Evolution, do I need anything else? I know that, yeah, if, it, either it's called Petite Moth, Larva Moth, whatever. Um, you use it on that, and it becomes Ultimate Great Moth or whatever. Whatever the heck its name is. There's like five different versions of it now, because the first version was really bad. Ooh, well, crit at the end. Is that extra points at least? Ah. Oh well. Probably level up next time. Now I've got control of this. I don't think there were any air monsters from the opponents coming though. So I have to get rid of this guy. So you got. What is that? Night Adept, Night Adept. Okay, I don't want to attack them at night then. One of them's got red medicine. Hmm. Only two action points, though. I should be able to cheese him with Mokuba if I hit him hard. Hang on. What was, there we go. What was he? Let's get Mokuba up here. Mokuba should be fine to do this by himself. Unless he's got to defend by himself. Gonna let Bonds recover a bit more, huh? And then I'll send them all over to the here together. Do this. Uh, something has Beast Fangs if you need more of those. Yeah, I could use more Beast Fangs right now. How do I say that? shy e hago Oh, perfect. I should send Mokuba over here first then to get more of those. Kind of spending some time for it, but it's whatever. Beast Fangs only have a handful of them. Sending Mokuba because he has discounts, so he gets items, like, cheaper. Hmm. There's a small forest there. Any forest anywhere else? I can't really take advantage of forest adept on this map, can I? There's nothing hidden in this forest here. The guide says that there's no more mo new monster recruits until mission 12. Don't want to get the healer unless absolutely necessary. Come on. Does the cursor move faster when it's, like, zoomed out? Eh, not really. Yeah, you're fine. First you become super tiny. Alright, equipment. Trade union. Ugh, making a trader always available. So expensive here. Electro Whip. Uh, hang on. Only the Harpy Lady can use this. It can stop an enemy in its tracks. Cyber Shield. Harpy Lady is just stuff you get from Mai's, uh... Yeah, Mai's, um... Mission in Yugi's campaign. It's far off to worry about. And one more. Alright, that should do it. Should be able to spam them on all the beast monsters now. And tell me they didn't just reset already. Yep, they're back and they got half health. Oh, look, they're back too. They still have some of their medicine left. 
These ones I kill too quickly. Oh, look, he's, he's there too. Looks like they're going for this place. I doubt I'm going to get Weevil over here fast enough. More experience, at least, yeah. I got Forest Adept. Hercules Beetle would get a boost if I can get him out there. I could get Weevil into the forest. That would, like, really help the situation right now. Some of them, anyway. Problem is, Weevil can't take all of them, and it'll swap, ar swap around with them. That's an issue. I'm gonna let Mokuba get stronger. Weevil get stronger. Be a mix of both. Get you over here, too. So, Kaiba needs to be defended because Kaiba's a little baby and doesn't want to use good monsters. His stuff is going to have Forest Adept, too, but that's all right. He's at half health. And they have... Right, that one still had medicine, so it's got to go first. Just spit on him. What is he going to do? Most. And there it is. Single hit from Gurus. This will help. This will give me more experience at the very least. I wonder if I should try sending Kaiba, here, uh, Kaiba up here so we can kind of steal some kills on the, uh, from people that are almost dead anyway. Oh my goodness. Finish him off. You're fine. I love... I love the healing mechanic in this game. I feel like it should just be removed entirely. Like not for the not for the player, not for the AI. Nobody should be able to do this. All right, hit him. Heals banned. If only. Let him attack, please. <sighs> It's not going to kill him, because it's basic insect. I need to heal Garuzus. Yeah, he would have been dead if I didn't do that. Kill him. Only got three of these left. That's fantastic. It's got laser cannon armor, but basic insect is never, like, doing it. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, he finally did it. He heard me calling him out. And did a crap ton. Fantastic. Come on, let's take him out. Finish him. Come on. You knew it. And what do we got here? More EXP is good. Is this getting stronger? I have his monster's dead. That's right. He can't even do anything.
Mokuba needs to defend so we can slaughter the uh, the medicine users there. Then we got to go up to this so I can claim that. There's still another one trailing far behind him. And they get to attack right away. Don't you love it? Where's my attack? Hmm? Might seem like it's overpowered to have a character that can hit like a truck, but it turns out if you don't have one of those, you just have to go through an extra half hour of like heal animations, don't you? Okay, hang on. Is this the one that has everything used up? Okay, only blue medicines left. Maybe I can finish you in a hit. I know you're guarding, but. Te oh my god, really? Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, let's kill you. I'm getting tired of you. It's waiting. <sighs> Alright, you're out. You're out. You can't do that again. You're completely done with this. Now let's delete them. And then there was one. One shot crit. No. But still, it's like a truck. I can put more beast fangs on, and uh, insects count as beast monsters in this, right? I think that's what it was. A ton of HP on Mokuba's monsters as well. Win, win, win. All right, nice. You earned it, Mokuba. You earned it. Here comes the next one. They give me a fortress to steal with an air cannon, but then no mo enemy monsters have, like, wings. So how much medicine is left on these chumps here? They recovered really fast as well. Remember that the, um, the timer is paused when I'm in battle. So all that, like, shenanigans having to rebattle Kaiba over and over, that didn't even count towards that. Oh. They only used one red medicine last time, did they? Okay, if I... I should be able to get a kill on you. This hits. Fantastic. They don't seem to use their medicine yet. Maybe they have to be technically be below 50%. I don't know. Surprised they didn't use it. See if I can kill him before he uses it, though. Alright, perfect. Don't miss. It really feels like the best way to handle this game is to just pick, like, two or three marshals and then just give them, like, the most overpowered crap you can possibly do and then just let them just take turns destroying everything. Let them go ahead and farm levels from the respawning people and then you'll just get even stronger. It seems like if you try and use everyone, you just get punished for it. Nice. Got all these levels coming. I gotta get Bonds' level up, though. Comes this guy. These guys didn't have any items, so this is just gonna be a free kill. Get rid of the one with the most action points first. That's why- that way we delete more turns of it. Stretch, hang on. Ooh! I love seeing a four-digit number when I get a critical hit with Zonky. That just seems so good. 
Yep, I'm doing a little stretch. I've been at my desk a lot this weekend trying to catch up on all the time I had to miss. We're doing good. Um, hardest hit on you. Oh, you were guarding. Oh well. Take out the pump king. One day that pump king will have a daughter. The pump, uh, the pump king princess. I don't remember her exact name. Finish him. Nice. Because Mokuba a few missions ago was a little stronger, uh, now he's a lot stronger than everyone else. And it, because I have to kind of use him to take out these guys like this. Pretty ridiculous. All right. I can, I'll send Weevil back to home base. Are you going towards... Oh, no, you're going over here. Wait, no, this guy respawned again already. Perfect. All right, I need Mokuba to be healed up. I need Mokuba healed up so I can send Mokuba to take over this fortress so I can get the Cocoon of Evolution for later. That should help uh, Weevil. Even if a lot of the monsters are useless, it's nice to show off getting them. It's like recruiting the people in Fire Emblem, even if you know you're never going to use them. You just want to be like, I, I need to help you. you. You need to join my army and then just sit at the back doing nothing forever. Unless it's like an Iron Man run where you, get, you, you might have to use some people. Which I still think I'd like to try streaming that sometime. Ugh. Pardon me. Cup in my throat there. So the problem is you're gonna have Night Adept, so maybe by the time I'm ready to attack you, I should see if I can get both Bonds and Mokuba to kind of attack him. Mokuba needs to heal up because I don't want to do this. Clearly I need extra experience anyway. Pump Princess is her name. Okay, Bonds is here. Let Bonds do this. Bonds needs to get the Paralysis unlock anyway. They still have medicine left? Yes, they do. The sa only saving grace is that they don't respawn with it. So... Two, 11. One left, four on you. Fantastic. You got low defense points. I'm gonna have to break your guard and try and take out the wolf first. Did I miss? Oh my, this is not my day. I'm, I'm making too many crucial misses. Shock him. Okay, good. He's gone. And he's gonna do his attack as soon as he can. I 40. Blue medicine. He doesn't have any left. Hit him with that Millennium Eye. Ooh, crit. Nice. Uh, come to think of it, I think only one of Bonds' monsters has Night Adept. Just Snake Hair. Oh well. Okay, good. That slaughtered him. Nothing left. What do you got? Alright, we'll take that. Snake hair is still... Okay, nice. Alright, it takes care of you. What do I have here for Mokuba? Let me look at the team, please. This is so unintuitive sometimes, I swear. I just want to see how much HP they got left each. Road Adept. How medicine to use. 
don't have a choice but to kind of fight him at night anyway, so let's just go. I don't know if I'll be able to take out the bottom fortress down here, if that's even necessary. Kaiba's just sitting here. His monsters can't recover. I'm gonna do down here. How long until they respawn again? Because look at the timer. They've already respawned once. Pretty absurd. Most majestic in the entire empire is protected by a lake and one side and considered unassailable. Well, ordinarily, yes, but I can walk through the water there. Thanks for the sub there, friend. And I swear, like, the neighbors are doing something outside. I hear, like, a noise. Oh, well. I don't think the mic's really picking it up. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to hit his Knight of Death monsters, but that's alright. That means they'll attack the castle when they start respawning. Hmm. Surrounded by mountains, surrounded by a lake and two other castles. Yeah, you certainly have to go around quite a bit to be able to attack this in a real strategic setting. No, I've not played Duels of the Roses. Okay. Dragon Carnage. So what is that thing? Did he miss? Fantastic. So the only one with medicine is the Grim Reaper there. Unfortunately, he gets more action points because I have to attack at night, but I can't just sit around waiting for them to respawn again. Achilles Beetle. Dragon Seeker. Yeah, three red medicine on you. It wouldn't be unrealistic if I could get a turn with Zanki after this to kill uh, the Reaper fast enough. Either way, I delete his turn. Come on. Almost. Yes. Alright, now we don't get to worry about heals. That was some carnage right there. I better heal up Zanki, though. Um, which ones did you have? Right. Three ninety four. Hmm. Guess I'll just take out the weaker one first. Will this be enough to kill? Not quite. Only three items at a time. Imagine if I could just stack, like, ten silver bow and arrows. How overpowered of a monster you could make with that. When you think about it, a 500, like, uh, attack boost per slot is pretty absurd. Mokubo's just gonna be way too strong by the end of this mission, and I can't help it because he's just the only one, like, fit for the job here. He's guarding. That won't help him. Did I use Mai the same way? Well, Mai was kind of busted because she gets the three Harpy Ladies and she can do a special with all of them. It just hits all opponents for heavy damage. Yugi's monsters in his campaign are like way better for sure. Way better. The point that where you get to Kaiba's campaign, you don't even have a use to like use any of Kaiba's campaign monsters. All right, this is being healed up now. Pardon me. Equipment. Um, let's see. Booster attack and enable special powers. I don't need this, right? Whoa, this cost how much? It transforms Larva Moth into adult form. Well, I guess I better buy it. Ooh, Snake Fang. Exposes one enemy to poison. Eh, I don't need that. 
Well, I got this. Hopefully the moth works out, but... Okay. Looks like I'm gonna have to send in Pegasus to attack a bit first. Oh, they're already- they're already, uh, revived. They're already revived. Here they come. Fantastic. Hang on. I need Pegasus out there. Pegasus, get in there. Pegasus is gonna have to defend while Mokuba heals up, and then Mokuba can attack the Emperor here. Here we go. If I wasn't using the, um... Like, Mokuba's discount ability... Oh my god. Does this look fun to you? Look at the time limit. This is their third time attacking me. Thank you, friend. I appreciate it. Okay. At least defending the fortress, I get, like, some kind of buff, I think. Anyways, what do I got left? Three medicine left on you, so let's do it. It's not exactly Mokuba himself is the reason he's strong. It's just kind of the fact that I gave, uh, I got, uh, gave, like, some of the best monsters to him. Kaiba's gonna have to wait. Yeah, hit him with that. Alright, perfect. We're getting through these guys quickly. I'll just have to look at this as a, an excuse to get experience points. That's all I can really say. This is a GameCube game. The problem with items is that if you know about where the items are, you become stupid OP. But if you don't know where the items are, you become stupid underpowered and basically have to grind and fail the missions over and over. Which is pretty lame. Oh, nice. Oh, it, yeah, fantastic. Level up on these lads. This is literally perfect, since I just put Pegasus in the position to do this. Okay, Mokuba's good. All of them are coming here. Pegasus should be able to do- and here- yep, they're all back. They are all back. Oh my god. How? Like, if you don't play aggressively on this map, you're pretty much dead. Turn one heal. Surely they must have none left, right? 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 Come on. One. Literally one blue medicine left between them all, okay. Hi, Vampy. Good morning. Or afternoon in this case. I'm sleeping better, but I'm not streaming earlier. I'm still waking up a bit too late. Okay. Crushing axe. All right, now let's get rid of the U. Five oh two. Pegasus just became another force to be reckoned with here. After that last level up, all the extra action points for sure. Oh my goodness, what are they doing out there? I hear them doing something. It's getting on my nerves. Oh well. Three, three, four. You're guarding, but that won't save you. Nothing will save you. It's been an hour, <laughs> for crying out loud. And I have taken over, like, one or two forks? Hope you all don't hear that, because it sounds like they might be hammering something on the inside now. I don't know. Still going, that's a lot. Better than that week, my neighbors decided to, like, renovate, like, like their whole freaking place, and it just, like, I could not stream because of the noise. Nothing to do but to eliminate these guys again. Hang on, how many of these guys got left? Seven, six, two... Great. This is the one that, uh... 
This is the one that I killed fast with Mokuba, so Pegasus might have some trouble here. Just attack. All right, perfect. Oh, there's a crit. All right. He's going to use red medicine now. There's no, re not really any way to get around it. Oh, so close. So close to just killing him. Hurts. Three, two, six. He's guarding. Fantastic. Let me see if I can kill the middle one first, then. Did I miss? Of course I missed. Ugh, oh, well. They're out of action points. May as well just go for it. Oh, nice. There's a good crit. Now we should definitely have enough points to take all of you all out. Is there anything in the other castle below the Emperor's castle? Like, is there any reason for me to take that over? Because if I go to take that over, you know what's gonna happen? I'm gonna have to fight an entire wave of um, these guys again after I take care of that guy down there. Okay, we'll take that. Pegasus is earning all this right now. It's EXP, I guess. I know, but it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over and over and over. Here's the last one. This guy didn't have any healing items. Let's just take them out. Probably should have went for Dragon first, but whatever. The Beast Fangs I put on after this will be nice. Ow. Alright, give him a blast. Probably might get money if I take over that castle. I'm not quite sure. It seems really arbitrary when the game decides which forts or castles give you money when you take them over. But I just had to drop almost everything I had left on the um, coon there. Ugh. If it's castle right arm, it should have swords of revealing light, gift of mystical elf, and super rejuvenation. What do those actually do in this game, though? I'm not sure how those effects would translate to False Bound. Do 10. And deleted. Oh, just a paralysis spell and heal spell. That's not really worth putting on for an item slot. You'd rather just have more, like, attack power to just destroy the opponent faster. You don't want to spend your action points just doing a mass heal when you can just put medicine on. Definitely doesn't sound worth it. Alright. The spells in this game are pretty meh. Okay. So let's go take care of the Emperor now. Because if I waste an extra five seconds, I'm going to have to go through those five battles again. Was it five enemies I had to take over? Over and over again? Strong enough now. Oh, you're nothing but a pack of traitorous thugs. How dare you defy me? Today I'm judge, jury, and executioner. the other boss music. Now, what does he have? Bonds will soften him up, and Mokubuck should be able to get the kill. Nice, he missed. 
Three red medicine on you, huh? The Axe Raider only has one more action point as well. So if I just wait, if I spread my attacks out and wait for him to use up his last action, I should be able to delete him. Crystal shards. You're hitting me with a Kirby game? How dare you. Come on, Axe Raider. Your move. Surprised that he doesn't have the uh, all the heal items. They must have just, like, at some point realized, hey, maybe this is a little too annoying, and then they just didn't put medicine on him. There should be a Kirby game with Teddy Ursa in it. I think that would be the best game ever. I need to play some more Kirby. That new one that came out last year was great. Forgotten Land. I forgot the name for a second. Basically, 100 percented that one. It was so much fun. All right. And now we don't have to worry about heals. Huh. You know, I guess it seems like, um... Maybe Bonds may as well be the one to finish him off entirely. He is actually one of the weakest teams on this map, huh? Kirby in the mall. 191. Give him that Millennium Eye. I miss? Oh, fantastic. He's still gonna lose. I sent him in to soften up the Emperor so someone could finish him off, and then it turns out, uh... Then it turns out I'm just gonna KO him because he's too weak. Give him a Slash. Two attacks left. He ain't living this. Well then, he, he was actually uh, kind of a huge pushover. No paralysis yet. Was level 25, maybe? Oh well. That worked out pretty well. Except for Kaiba. 1,000. Nice. No! Retreat! Retreat! Hey, Sheen, get him. Don't let him escape. Curse you, Kaiba. My army! My empire! You needn't worry about that, your majesty. Who's there? Who are- what are you? Doesn't matter, your majesty. The important thing is that I am the one who will deliver you from your enemies. Another insolent. Ah, oh, never mind. So you say you can save my empire, do you? Yes, I can. I will defeat the Resistance army that's pursuing you. Good. Now I can rest knowing I'll be safe. I wouldn't be too sure of that. What? The empire and the army no longer belong to you, your majesty. What? Just what does that mean? Explain your so ah! He just kills him. My body! My body! You are nothing more than my programmed puppet. You've served me well. But you've outlived your usefulness. Good work, your majesty. I always erase my unwanted programs so that they don't come back to cause me trouble later. Bye-bye now. Yeah. What programs and with the ability to feel pain? Tenno, we're being attacked from behind. What? No! What a mistake! We were too focused on the offensive and left our rear unguarded. Ha ha ha! Sorry to surprise you all. I've taken the liberty of destroying your rear guard. How utterly simplistic of you to leave your backside so completely unprotected like that. You. You used to work in research at Kaiba Corporation. Scott. Scott Irvine. I'm pleased you remember, Kaiba. I did enjoy working for you then. How's your dual disc selling? Quite the technological marvel, if you ask me. 
But then again, I made it. Hm. Lost track of you after Battle City. What are you plotting? I could try to explain, but being the heartless, heartless, ruthless businessman you are, you'd never understand. Besides, all this talk is wasted energy. Don't you think it's about time you started planning your escape? What the heck are you talking about? While well, you're wasting time with your silly questions, my forces are cutting off your possible escape routes. You're so simple-minded, Kaiba. For a self-proclaimed master duelist, you've done nothing but disappoint me so far. Kaiba, we should escape now while we still can. Oh, you may have won this round, Scott, but watch out. That's right. The villain of this game, the true villain of this game, is Scott the Game Dev. That's still so funny to me. Is he actually called Scott in the Japanese version? Because I know SIC stands for Scott Irvine Corporation. The sudden appearance of Scott and his vicious attack took a heavy toll on Kaiba and his forces. Fighting as they fled, they tried to escape to the east. Now they're surrounded in Maria Den with no way out. Thanks for the sub there, Koji. I was in a cutscene there. Okay. So no new monster. This is mission nine. Uh, no new monsters. Oh, sorry, no. Mission 10 I'm on. No new monsters until mission 12. Oh, wait, no, yeah. Mission 12 is just the battle lab of battle guard. Yeah, I can't get that because you have to beat Joey's campaign for Swamp Battle Guard first. Lava Battle Guard will only join you if you have Swamp Battle Guard as a lead monster of a marshal and move the marshal along the edge of the mountains east of the river and southwest of Bazon. Lava Battle Guard will converse with Swamp Battle Guard and he will join you. There is no chance in hell you would find that out by accident. There is literally no chance in hell. You <laughs> he has to be the lead monster too. And you have to move along a specific part of the map. And you only get it from Joey's campaign, so you have to beat the game several times. That's great. Anyways. So let me take a look at these now. Count as a beast? or No, they count as a dragon. Right? Hmm. You're a fiend. Ugh, man, Kaiba can't do crap. They count as dragons... Dinos count as dragons, I mean. Hmm. When I spread things out now, Kaiba basically won't have much to work with still. I really want to give Kaiba some monsters to work with. Maybe I should just ditch what he has and, like, put them on Kaiba. As much as I hate to do so. Like, his uh, martial level up stats will not ne be nearly as good as Kaiba's in the long run, so... He doesn't even have an ability, either. Oops. Most of his monsters are outliving his usefulness as well. Give me a drink, yeah. I hate to do this to him, but, you know... Dragons are pretty bad in the long run. I'll keep Ryukishin. Let me just take these off. Yeah, it's a little too late for these water monsters. Plus, for whatever reason, the dragon type is really bad because the only equip items they get just make it so, makes it so they don't miss. And that's really not worth an item slot, in my opinion. That's what some guy was saying last time, anyway. Okay. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take Bonds off. It's darn shame, he served me well though. Hang on, turn off, don't forget. Get Tiger Axe. Having all those specific monster recruit conditions is exactly why a randomizer would be so great for this, but no one cares about this game enough to really make that happen. At least not right now. There we go. Right, Gamma the Magnet Warrior. Uh, who was I looking for again? Snake Hair. Okay, Black Pendant. Black Pendant. Silver Bone Arrows on you. May as well put another monster blue medicine on here. There we go. Medicine. There we 
go. Well, doesn't silver bow and arrow? Let's see. Doesn't silver bow and arrow just give more attack boost power than legendary sword? That's why I have it on. There we go. I thought silver bow and arrow gave 800 and the sword only gave 500. And they stack, yeah. Let's see now. Edit you. Okay, beast fangs for you guys now. Mukaba ha doesn't really needed the heals that much, so I can take the medicine off and just go all in. No, it's the same with the extra effect. All right then. Here we go. Let me see here. Three six twenty. Three six twenty. Well, I guess it does then. Okay. All right, that doesn't matter then. Put this on. Beast fangs. Barely really doesn't really make much of a difference. They give. They both give the same attack boost. <laughs> Not like legendary sword has a different effect to give. Beast fangs. Beast fangs. Okay, four thousand beat stick. We got that. Beast fangs. And as for you, dragon, so you're out of your usefulness soon enough. Damn, you got 4,000 on your own with just one pendant. Hmm. I think I'll go all in with uh, Beast Fangs. More attack power, good. Nice. As for Weevil... Oh, I can only bring four marshals into the next mission anyway. I just realized that. Yeah, I guess replacing him is better. Okay. Insects count as beasts, so we'll do it like this. Um... Don't have that much left, do I? Hmm. Just the one there. Give you blue medicine. Your attack is still pretty piss poor, but still. Like, you would have some. Rex is just a, a there to, for moral support, I guess. Alright, this should be okay, I hope. Aid from afar. Don't gotta worry about any recruits for this mission. So, we can only bring four marshals here, so let's make sure they all do their best. Iba can fight now. Ooh, different music. Turn it up. These are desperate times, Kaiba. They've caught up and have us surrounded. We were so close. We don't stop them here and now. We'll never do it. You're right, of course, but our enemy is strong and resistance will be difficult. I can immediately see one guy on the mountain there. You see that? I've never given up, Pegasus. There's always a way out. Always. Kaiba's forces control that. Oh, uh, yeah, they're, they're immediately all coming. Come on, reach the forest in time. This might be a bit difficult, but I did level people up. All right, Kaiba, don't slow us down this time. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Well then, I might be in trouble. Unless I get a critical hit and take out one of the materials. It's fusion time. Come on, let me go next. No, he didn't use it. Oh, wait, no. Did he not have it? I think the middle one had it. Come on. No. No, they're not going for it. The two on the right there can fuse. And if they fuse, they basically become a new monster with full health. But if I can kill the material fast enough... Oh, 
All right, now the fusion's worthless. Yeah, they both have one. Now I need to get rid of uh, the healer. Fusion monsters get really obnoxious in this game, especially when you're dealing with like the end game bosses using it. Stupid strong. Alright, might be able to kill her. Let's go. Giving Kaiba these monsters was a good idea for now. Especially- oh no. Darn it. Well. Who knows how fast these guys will respawn. Should have the three of them try and take out the monsters that come in for us and then send in Mokuba to finish off the, the general or whoever it is. Come on, Kaiba, this is your chance for a comeback. You got knocked around last mission, but you don't gotta let that stand. Level 20 should give me, like, another martial stat boost, maybe? Snake hair is right around the corner from getting paralysis as, like, a side effect from their attack. I don't know if I reached the forest map. Oh, perfect. Oh, he's got Winged Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. Wait. Oh no, those are fusion materials. The two birds. Ugh, same gimmick. Huh. Alright. I got Forest Adept on. I just buffed my monsters. Let's see if I can take out a material. Is there any items worth buying in any of the surrounding towns that I should go for? That's why this level is hell, polymerization strats. Yeah. He sky attacked me, but he missed. If you know how to get items early on, you can kill the materials before they confuse, and here we go. Okay, you're guarding. Hang on. I gotta kill this one. It's got the heals. Polymerization's worthless on it now. Unless they respawn, of course. Almost. bit more now. I got Weevil in the forest, so two of his monsters get a significant buff here. Yeah, if monsters fuse, I'm pretty sure they go to full health, and they refresh their action points like a new monster. That's why polymerization can be, like, extremely annoying. Miss. Spit some man acid on him. All right, complete slaughter yet again. Nice. Ooh, multiple levels. Let's go. 
My base attack with Garuzis is almost over uh, 2,000 now. Okay, Mokuba's gonna have to fight this one now. Go for the, the the red bird again. A second, I think I'm gonna cough. Okay, I'm good. Oof. Okay. So I put even more buff items on Mokuba's team. So Mokuba's now even stronger than he was last mission. Like Hercules Beetle got an extra thousand and. Um, Armored Lizard got an extra 500 from the extra Beast Fangs. Slash. Oh, I missed. Okay, yeah, whatever. A miss just gives you an automatic uh, 500 if it happens. So it's just a dumb luck way to sway the battle towards your favor. Okay, perfect. Here we go. Maybe at level 30, they'll get another action point. We'll see. That one's coming for Pegasus. Wait, oh, it's already dusk? The time limit's moving fast here. Well, not the time limit, but the time of day, I suppose. Nice, he missed. Hang on, what's that th in the background? Are, th are those dinosaurs? When the- how long have those been there? Just always off the camera, I guess. Are they the dinos from Cold Wave? Probably. Alright, let's get rid of you. Maybe they only show up during the uh, sundown map. I don't know. I certainly don't recall them. All right, let's take over, take care of the healer now. Chilling winds. Ow. Get shot. The beast fangs make me hit hard. The rabbit is strong. Okay, a little bit there. I'm completely like obliterating these teams. This is great. Punch. Oh, not enough. All right, Pegasus, come on. Ooh, nice. All right, a little bit of extra attack on that. Man, the box's um, attack power goes up a lot with each level, I'm noticing. All right, this guy's different. What's he got? I got my strongest general on this, though. What do we got here? Dark Elf, Beast King of the Swamps, 
And ghoul with an appetite. Oh, this weird one. Ugh. Red medicine is on Beast King of the Swamps, but he's got the lowest health. And he's deleted. Alright, perfect. Hmm. Both of the same. Who had more attack points? Oh, definitely you. That's right. Dark Elf's old gimmick was that, like, it had high attack points, but you had, like, some downside effect. But that doesn't seem to be relevant here. Oh, not oh boy, here it comes. Ugh. Barely did anything. That's just Mystical Elf's attack, but red. This thing. He's guarding. That won't help him. Does the attack stat like cap out at uh nine nine like four digits of nine? Or does it like go into ten thousand? I don't think I managed to get it that high last time. Nice. Smoke buzz one level away from twenty, so that might be another boost. It does cap? Okay. Alright, there's another guy on his way here. This is the starting map. That's right. Weevil should be okay. Wait, where's Pegasus? He's in here. So let's try and do this now. Let's take over the other places, and... Who's here? Wait, what? Seeker? It's just Seeker? What the hell's he doing here? I don't remember him being in this game. About to have a battle here. Yeah, I'm not getting to in time. Maybe... Wasn't he in... Yugi's campaign, now that I think about it? I don't remember him being here. Oh, well. Three red medicine, same deal, just making sure. So we're in the forest map, so Weevil gets a significant boost here. This is good. At least Garuzis doesn't, but Garuzis is a warrior, so it gets access to all the great crap. Alright, whatever, that's fine. Strings was in Yugi's, I think. Does uh, Seeker actually do anything, or is that just like another po random portrait they took from, um... They took from Duelist of the Roses or Forbidden Memories? Remember that time I was playing Reshef and I actually lost to Exodia? Remember? I, I cannot believe he actually got, like, Exodia in the hand in that game. That is just so absurd to me. Okay, let's heal up. All right, now let's get rid of uh, the elf there. I don't think Exodia is even in this game, right? Is it? I don't know if I even asked this last time. It is not. Okay. Rainbow mist from your stomach there. Ugh. Even Weevil with the basic insect. Basically a meme... meme slot I'm using on this team. Until I get the laser cannon. You'll laugh, but basic insect will be better. Better. Ooh, that's nice. That's beautiful. Let's do it again. Over 1,000 damage on a crit. I mean, I know 
I don't mean the individual piece of Exodia. I mean, like, they could have just made Exodia one normal monster. That would have been funny. All right. Good, good, good. More significant attack power off of all that. Okay. Weevil, you're done defending, so now you're gonna go down here. Kaiba, I'm here to save you. Yugi, what are you doing here? I'll tell you later. Leave half the enemy to me. I don't remember asking you for any help. But at least we have a chance against the enemy now. Okay. Where are you, Yugi? After I took out all the enemies. You can summon the god monsters, yeah. They're like the reward for finishing a campaign. Let Taiba heal up. Nice. Three gold. So uh, before I attack a Seeker here, is there anything worth getting from these villages? Last check. What Seeker got? Oh, he's got uh, the Cybersaurus. Castle Adept. Ooh. Why does the giant worm have a... Oh, it's a dungeon worm. That's why. I was about to ask why it's better in a castle, but I guess that kind of makes sense. Road Adept. Wasteland Adept. Okay, just blue medicine on that one. Yugi prevents them from, like, respawning. Oh, okay. That's what it's supposed- the implication's supposed to be? I guess that's fine. I probably find new bugs in games all the time. I couldn't think of any off the top of my head. I mean, I know these guys are, like, checked off here. Oh, wait! You're telling me he just straight-up deletes them from the roster? Oh, he just prevents all but these three from respawning. Is that what it does? Okay. Uh, okay, I understand you now. Okay, Mokuba needs to let them heal up a tad. That Knight Adept, so Snake Hair would get a buff going in. Mokuba can be in his backup. Kaiba should be able to do this, I think. Oh, you also have Knight Adept. Okay, this actually works out then. I got Ryukishin had that. You, the little boys, define Master Scott. You should give up. Oh no. You don't have Exodia here, Seeker. You have nothing. You nothing. Y'all washed up. Alright, Cybersaurus and that thing. So we gotta take out Monster Tamer. I don't really see this map at nighttime too often. So, the, if you activate the proper Adept ability, it's... I know it's an extra action point, and it's an extra 500 attack and defense, correct? I think that was it. When they call him things like Master Scott, like, it just sounds so freaking lame. He's already gone. Left arm cannon. Oh, watch out! Those foam darts are gonna hurt. May as well get rid of the worm because of all its action points. The bosses are being, like, kind of pushovers lately, compared to, like, the actual Goombas they send to fight me.
Worm blaze. Worm spit. Let's check him out. The worm might be tanky, but I hit for like over 500 with Tiger Axe. Not even just the monsters for a randomizer, like randomizing like uh, what shops have as well would be good. Keep you on your toes. How fast can you build an overpowered monster? Or just randomly get like uh, the Goombas being sent out at you know, with like uh, blue eyes. That'd be funny. Nice. Completely slaughter him. Kaiba got his A game. All I had to do was just steal monsters from someone else. This map only lets you bring in a total of four marshals anyway, so... And you can't turn Kaiba off, so... Okay, nice. And that's what I want to see. Level 20 Tiger Axe gets another action point. Fantastic. 800. Oh, forgive me, please, Master Scott. No! Good. Now we got our way out. Split up and retreat, everybody. You know where to go. We'll meet up there later. Uh-oh. I must have gotten separated from my brother. Well, goodbye, Mokuba. Gee, you sound worried, Mokuba. Ah, it's Scott! You took good care of me when I was working at Kaibacore. You gave me special attention, didn't you, Mokuba? If it hadn't been for you and your brother, I probably wouldn't be here today. What do you mean? Ah! Uh. Eh, <laughs> you're coming with me, my little friend. That's not really creepy and weird. Alright. Going the distance. Kaiba and Yugi break through Scott's line and decide to make a stand at uh, this place straight against their pursuers. Scott's army shows visible signs of fatigue. Countless battles have taken their toll. Kaiba must strike now. Kaiba will bear the brunt of the attack while Yugi and his forces sneak behind and attack the enemy from behind. They may be tired, but Scott's army is still massive. Kaiba and his forces will have to hold out until Yugi comes. Alright, let me stand up here. You're right. Hang on, I'm just bonking the table there. I can only bring three marshals. Wow. This is it. Give it all you got. This is your last chance to survive. You can only bring three people. So, question now is, who gets Mokuba's stuff? The answer to that is probably Kaiba should be getting that. Let's be real. Well then, the three monsters... Okay, take off Ryukishin for now. Snake hair needs to be leveled up so it gets the, uh... Stone eyes. Does it have the thing now? Hang on. Can't check for info. The fact that it's lit up in yellow, does that mean it has the paralysis effect now? It has the thing now? Okay, just making sure. Tiger Axe. I want to keep that one on. I may as well take the Black Pendant off of uh, Ryukishin and put it on, um... And put on Snake Hair now. Or is it? Alright. Perfect. Silver Bow and Arrow. All these match Mokuba pretty well with the affinity there, huh? Huh, turns out the beetle is actually the strongest of them all now. Weird to see that. Okay. What about Parrot Dragon? Should I take that off? It's got five stars there, and I want to keep that. 
Affinity does change over time to match the Marshall, yeah. Hmm. I think I should take Basic Insect off for this mission and give him one of Mokuba's monsters. You can still afford to grow pretty well. May as well give him Hercules Beetle, then. Give it back to him more like it. New sort by level here. Oh. Can't find anything. Beasts. Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, that works for me. Hmm. Perhaps I should just give him the Armored Lizard. And as for you... Hmm, probably could replace Parrot Dragon. I mean, it is a dragon, so at the end of the day, it's not great. With Zonkey. Hang on. 3,000. Yeah. This'll do for now. One Black Pendant, all Beast Fangs. Maybe I should put medicine on you just to be safe, since you're not doing much. Beast fangs, beast fangs. Yeah, this should be good. What about tiger axe? Did I put that on anybody? Okay, tiger axe is still on you. All right, if I can only bring in three marshals, the th these three should be fine as they are now. I lose Mokuba for a bit, so I just have to deal with it. Oh, friend, welcome to stream. Glad you liked it. And... Okay, let's start. I don't know if this is one of those quick ones or long ones. Let's find out. With three marshals, they're getting all the experience, though. I must say, it's a brilliant strategy. You've dragged my army quite the distance, haven't you? But it's all a bit pointless. Your chances of winning are less than 0.00009%. Boy, you picked the wrong person to tell that to. I'm going to wipe that cool smile right off your face, Scott. You just wait. Hmm. Well, okay then. Hit me with your best shot. I'll take those odds. Okay, they're immediately coming for me. I can't just leave someone in the base. I've been on this map before. I gotta get as much gold as I can, so I gotta take these over. If he attacks my home base, I pretty much automatically lose, but I only get three marshals, so I can't just leave someone there. Alright, what was the name of this mission again? Okay, this is mission 11. Mission 12 is Raid, the one with battle, the battle guards, but I can't use it. The time limit on this map is really low. Now you mentioned it's going down pretty fast. Oh. My. God. No, no, oh, no, no. Alright, well. Oh, hey, it's the, it's the tank. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, Weevil. Uh, good luck. Actually, you know what? Maybe you should. Maybe you should come help. I'm just. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That's probably a good idea. You get three marshals. They get three hundred. This one's being slowed down because the tank is so slow. <laughs> it's trying to creep around it. Well, here we go. Let's do it. We got not Tinkaton. And we got the other friends here. No forest adept. Blue medicine's on you. At least they don't have the level of medicine they did in that other mission. Let's do it. Beetle's back better than ever. Almost. That's fine. He's just wasting a turn. I can finish him with, like, one or two attacks still. That goofy laugh noise. Kaiba will arrive as backup to fend off the dragons past these guys. Probably have to fight the tank. So 
some of these missions can feel really obnoxious, can't they? Like, the mission is basically just like, here's three forts, and uh, 300 guys are marching towards you. Fight them for, ten for two hours. Here we go. Also, if you walk to the other side of the map and uh, turn your console on and off on a Wednesday, you'll run into Karibo. That's Falsebound Kingdom. Well, at least when I do Yugi's campaign on the second run, I'll have, uh, be able to use Kaiba's monsters in it. Instead of Yugi's, like, same batch as before. It's not too far off from Moisture Creature. Yep, I got Moisture Creature, like, uh, last stream, I, th I think. Slice him up. Okay, Weevil's taken out this whole team. I took out the other monsters while they had action points. That's great. Okay, perfect. Took a little bit of damage there. But can we have some experience to... Nice. We can do this. We can do this. Just keep getting stronger. That one got pushed back a bit. Slight HP increase coming. Kaiba's also coming. Okay, there's the windmill. Same deal as before. for a little bit. The barricade? Well, doesn't the, bar the barricade only gives you defense points, which only matter when you're guarding. It doesn't actually affect your, like, stats for damage you take otherwise. Barricade gets attacked too. Since when? I thought everybody was saying otherwise about that. Anyways, uh, Garuz is about to go down, because they all just decided to gang up on him. I need medicine. Let the end attack. Okay, there goes you. Ooh. How much defense points I got here? 1,800. Yeah, they're breaking that guard. Doesn't matter. Alright, let's just go for a heavy hit. Hello, friend. Welcome. That's fine. Appreciate it. And there goes Garuzus. That's unfortunate. The turn for Ant to heal just never kind of showed up, so I lost him. Slash him. Hey, good, he's gone. Ugh, too bad I lost Karuzis. He'll still get experience for this encounter. Ugh. Should probably heal you while I can. I don't have Monster Reborn on anybody on this team, though. Weevil's kind of just out of commission for the rest of this, like, uh, mission now. Because I'm not going to be able to revive Garuzus. Butt spit. He's got the crocodile armor. <laughs> Looks so silly. What would it look like from the side? I need to know. Alright. Gruz is still getting enough experience for level ups, though. Ah, not quite enough. I know I can use the healer to revive it like that, but uh, I don't want to spend the money because the important items cost much more.
All right, let's send you there and just give Kaiba. I might have to reset this one, but that's okay. I'll get experience anyway. Oh, the tank. Yeah, that has a lot of HP. No medicine. Tank gotta go first then. Okay, there's Paralyze. Perfect. So now it's Paralyze. I don't remember how Paralysis works again. Like, it lasts a certain amount of turns. Plasma laser cannon. Two seventy. That's a lot of smoke right there. We're still taking things out fast. We got Mokuba's monster. Ah, oh, darn. Not fast enough here, apparently. Does Paralysis just, like... But he just doesn't get to move, period? I don't remember. I remember it being very obnoxious, but I don't recall how it actually worked. It can just randomly wear off. Oh, okay. That's obnoxious. I love being obnoxious in this. It just lasts as long as it wants. This is scum. I love it. He just can't attack. Sometimes don't even last a single turn. Well. Now it's the only one left there. Wow. That's quite a difference in uh, power there. Paralysis can just help me sweep an entire team. What other good monsters, like, get access to paralysis at certain levels? We're gonna have to go back now. Oh, this is a problem. Darn, this is a problem. Harpy scan with an item. Oh, yeah, the Electro Whip. 3 XP. Oh, yeah, Armored Zombie can get it. That's why he's busted. It's like, uh, you need to get an evolution item for, uh, to use it on Zanki. Oh, no, looks like it hit the thing. Did he have Parrot Dragon? Oh, boy. You know, maybe it would have been good to have... Let me bring in four marshals after all. Three is pretty rude for this setup. Isn't that so arbitrary, though? Like, Fire Emblem does that, too, where it's like, hey, you gotta fight, like, 40 people, but you're only allowed to bring in five or six. You know, we don't want this to be unfair in a... or unrealistic in a war setting. Anyways, Tiger Axe is about to die because I'm getting slaughtered. Turns out I wasn't as overpowered as I thought. All right, then. Parrot Dragon, strongest. Let's go for it. Let's get a crit. Don't attack, Tiger. If I lose, I'll just have to restart the mission with the experience I got, and that'll be fine. Give it a shock. Okay, now I can't really do anything. Though Tiger, I can still do this, though. Probably should finish off the Parrot Dragon, though. Damn, is that Paralysis just guaranteed when I get the hit now, or what?
Two, six, four. All right, it broke out. I should have finished it when I had the chance. All right, two attacks left. Oh, seven left. Oh, well. Okay, win. Nice. Okay, we will get in there. Are you gonna be stuck? Come on, come on, come on, come on. <sighs> yeah, I think I may have lost this. Trying to go for the side uh, towns right at the start is pointless. You need to just go to that middle place and you need to make a barricade and just break them down, apparently. This is just the same deal here. They're gonna kill Weevil, probably. But hypothetically speaking here, if I were to reset the mission and just go for the towns right away and get the gold and then purposely lose, can I just farm infinite gold? It sounds like a very obvious exploit, but uh, I get the feeling this game would just let me do that. Yes, yes, that's hilarious. The only thing stopping anybody from beating this game is free time, apparently. Oh, my phone's fully charged. Let me just unplug that. If you're gonna do that, you might as well choose the cheat code, yeah. For now, we'll just have to get as much experience as we can, because it looks like even if I get through this gauntlet of enemies, I'm very likely gonna be unable to, um, get, like, beat the boss, unless the boss is still a pushover like the last few missions. I think you don't actually get the gold until the mission's over. I thought that was just the martial reduction, but I don't know. We'll put up as best to fight we can. Shadow Flame. Two thirty-seven. One action left, Boyle. I missed. Ooh, that's not good. You get the town gold right away, you don't get the mission gold until the end. Okay. just heal Beetle while I can. Need Beetle, or Weevil's team, to put up a bit of a fight here, because I'm gonna have to send in Kaiba for the boss if I can. I haven't completely given up, but just look on the bright side. If you lose, you keep the EXP. I think. Still pretty sure of that. Alright, no level 30 buff for Beetle, but hey. Level up's a level up. Time Wizard Bop. I don't even remember where you get Time Wizard. Oh, wait, no, t that's right. Kaiba lost, uh, Tiger. Yeah, I, I'm not- I can't catch him in time. <laughs> I can't catch him in time, I'm too slow. This is how we die. So this is the same team uh, again, but also back at full health. Three dragons just breathing fire for a long ass time. And I missed. 
This does just seem like an endurance map. It feels like the last few missions have been an endurance map. Like the one with the Emperor, that those dudes just respawn so quickly. Missed. Did you miss again? Wow. Can't hit this ant, apparently. We'll take our experience. What's that building in the background there? I never noticed that. I thought the village was, like, on the side there. Just regular buildings. Okay. Oh, you're almost dead. You're almost dead. Now we gotta go through another round of Dragon Breath. One day. One day. Yeah, it's pretty much over, so... I don't think it's possible for me to catch the guy going towards the home base now. This might also be the mission where I have to, like, I have to have a healer, but I don't have Mokuba, so I have to spend the money as well. Hmm. Oh well. Most of my, uh, I almost called them Pokemon. <laughs> Most of my monsters all have, like, full equipped items now, so... I can afford to spend a little bit of on healing. It looks like I won't have much of a choice, because, again, only three marshals, so... Oh, wow, I'm actually gonna KO another one. Just get as much EXP as we can until the mission forces me to reset. Level 31 on Hercules Beetle. Yeah, we're just gonna get more fights in. Alright. Paralysis can really let you cheese a victory out, though, that's for sure. Only one monster here. If I could just catch that guy from behind there, I might be able to do it, but I don't think I'm fast enough. Dark King of the Abyss gets a special that reduces all mods, mo er, all opponents' attack by 1,500. That's pretty cheesy. There's a lot of monsters, you just don't know what they can do unless you, like, give them, like, 20 to 30 levels. Alright, take that. Yeah, not getting to him fast enough. Dark King of the Abyss only available on Refight and Yuki's campaign. I thought Dark King of the, the Abyss was um, one of Kaiba's starting monsters, yeah. Like, um, Martha starts with them. And there goes Beetle. Ant versus Dragon. Yeah, you're thinking of King of Yami Makai? That one, yeah. I didn't use that monster because I didn't know what to do, but it doesn't matter. Again, it's one of those things you just have to know about. Come on, let's end this already. You and I both know it's impossible for me to win. Just give me my experience. So close. There you go. Give him a spit. Did I miss? Wow. 
The game is doing all that it can to delay this as much as possible. I won, but I have less points. Well, experience gained. Yeah, I got Cocoon of Evolution. Cost a ton of money, even with Mokuba. <laughs> the last one, and he's gonna... Yeah! The last one. Darn. What can you do? Rip the dream. Our forces are falling apart. We can't keep fighting. Just one dragon. Alright. Now let's just confirm that it kept the monsters at the same level. Yep, Be Beetle's 31. It did keep experience. Okay, so is there any changes I want to make right quick? Pegasus didn't even get a chance to fight. You're pretty good there. Hydrate. Yep, just one second. Does Beetle move fast as a lead monster? Because it looked like it was... it Like the large monsters like that move slow, but I can try it. And just sort like this. Now I need Garuzus. Everybody got medicine. You got medicine on that. What about Kaiba? Snake Hair's got it. Okay, that about covers that. Just look at it this way. We're going back into the mission with uh, extra experience now, so we should be okay. Once I take out, like, the Goombas, I should be able to make a run to those towns to get extra gold as well. Right, let's go. Apparently speed scales with affinity. I wish I knew that an eternity ago. There's no reason to... Keep someone in the base, though. If I can keep everybody here first, and then defend, that should be fine. Okay, Beetle actually flies when he goes. Perfect. I don't even know if Box is fast or not. Fishing and shipping village. Just on this little land. 850. Alright, so if this does give attack and defense, hopefully it'll be better. I assume that the uh, explanation for that happened because of, um... What am I trying to say here? Because the, it's based on the trap card artwork there. That only increases defense. So there we go. Yep, let me just fix my seat. Okay, so let's give this a try. Pretty much prepare for the endurance round number two. Once the first wait two are done, I'll put someone to the side here to catch the dragon if it tries to go around. The cannons take too long to charge, though. You only get, like, one shot per, like, like a wave of enemies, which is lame. Okay, so we gotta take out the one with the medicine. Oh, okay, the game just uh, decided to freeze for a split second there. This is what we train for, lads. Come on, we can do this. Swap them. Six. Zonky is so strong. Bending the dragon. 
That's what they decided. Dragons have to be stupid weak in this game. Only a teeny bit of damage. Just a bit more. Might have to give Zonky uh, blue medicine at some point soon. Alright, perfect. First one down. Pegasus didn't really get to fight much last time, so let him get this. We're, a lot of the marshals are nearing level 20 as well, so that'll help them out. Here they come. Yeah, once this guy is taken out, I'll put Pegasus out on the side, or it should be Pegasus, actually. Because he needs to recover by staying inside here, so... Uh, let me think. Let me think. Some, like, Weevil or something to the side. Kaiba to catch them. I hope. Ooh, that's really, really bad. They got a freaking critical on Zonky. If I, lo if I lose him to a critical right now, come on. I know, I'm probably gonna have to make a healer for here, but... Not yet. First, we'll see how necessary that is. Eh. Oh, another critical. That is so not cool. Come on. This is some unfortunate bad luck right now. I missed? Wow. This is terrible. This is really, really terrible right now. I mean, I will need a healer now, apparently. Okay, you're waiting. Well, oh, you're dead now. Just hit you. Can these two attacks finish you off? Let's find out. Probably. Fox got over 4k. Little bit more, a little bit more. Every little bit makes us stronger. Here they come. The tank just kind of pushes them to the side there. Oh, that healer costs a lot. It looks like I do get the money from last time, so that's good. Alright, so let's hope the same crap occurs now. Alright. I get rid of the tank still. Has the most action points in HP. I'm surprised its cannon arm isn't like neon blue and green. Hopefully Tiger Axe doesn't get like completely destroyed like last time. Ooh, not close enough. You're guarding. Paralysis is cheesy. Let's 
Spider just used up its last uh, action point. It doesn't seem like a um, missile spider or launcher spider, whatever it's called, really has much AP. Probably not a great monster to use. Nice. These monsters freaking delete things when they get hits. So, behind this thing, there's three teams that are, have the Kaiser Dragon as the leader. Monster Spider does get a lot of AP, but takes a while. Everything takes a while in this game, so I hear. Alright, good. Everybody earned that. Yeah, double level up for somebody. Yeah, there's three of them. And then there's just Scott. Too bad you don't get, like, any gold for, like, uh, battles, it seems. Just for, like, taking over a place. Come on. Everybody gets to move before I do. Okay. It didn't have any of that. Okay. Parrot Dragon's still the toughest, technically. The thing I don't like about these dragon teams is that all of them have the same, like, really slow fire breathing animation. Okay, one down. The only way I could realistically go for the towns on the side would be if I, um... Would be if I crafted a healer to just kind of, like, tank out things, but at that point, I'd just be, like... I probably wouldn't even recoup the cost of, um, building the healer. Really need Ant to attack, so I can, uh, heal the Ruzus. This is a mission I feel like I should just try and finish quickly, because... It, it seems like it's- these guys are gonna respawn fast, I don't have a long time limit. And they're all very annoying. That and the big- the big deal is also only three marshals are allowed in this mission, which is still really silly. At least one more, like, come on. At least we can reap in that sweet EXP. Alright, so there's nothing left to attack. He's got- he's all out of action points. Maybe I should use some of the medicine again to heal while I have a second. Yeah, probably use it on Garuzis again. Beetle is an absolute tank. to attack. Just barely. Garuzis is the easy target they go for. I got it as a wild recruit a few missions ago, but investing in it, especially when you have so much access to the warrior buff items, is good. And slaughtered. No level 20. Okay, we'll take that. I think that was two level for Garuzis. Ooh, that sent you back for some reason. Okay, it's gonna collide with you first. Weevil has to hang out to the side. I didn't see who guarded. Does it show me? No, it doesn't. Great. Well, let's just paralyze you. Just delete him if the other two are gonna guard. Alright, this is perfect. Okay, good. Immediately one's removed. bit 
there. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use a medicine with snake hair. I can't let Tiger Axe die again. Making sure I don't hit the wrong button. Hmm. All right, now get rid of the parrot. Who has the most attack power? A crit would be fantastic right now. Not enough. Come on. Okay, went for snake hair that time. AI decided to just randomly mix it up. And all that's left is Curse of Dragon with uh, no action points. Should be able to kill him easily, so I should wait. Use another one on Tiger Axe, because we're not done. There's just one more dr team of dragons behind this, right? I haven't actually checked what Scott has now that I think about it. No action point increase, but we can't complain. We're pretty high level now. Yeah, just one more there. Get you prepped to get back in there. So here it is, the same team for the third time. Believe me, I'm pretty sick of them, too. We're gonna parrot dragon first. Ooh, there's the crit I wanted. That's the crit I really wanted. Perfect. Uh, I don't think... I'm not confident Snake Hair's attack would kill, but I could paralyze Curse of Dragon. Perfect. I don't really want the Swords of Revealing Light. The, the spells aren't that great, in my opinion. Unless they're very specific attack ones. Okay. Let's get rid of Curse of Dragon now. And all those sweet action points. And let's just inflict Paralysis on the middle one. Getting spit on. How much damage does Stone Eyes actually do? I didn't really even pay attention to its damage output more than... Oh yeah, that's a lot. Damn. Not enough credit for Snake Hair. Everybody gets a little bit of a level up. I think Tiger Axe got 50 extra attack power on that. Pretty good. Okay. Everyone's recovering a little bit. Weevil's the one in most in the best condition to attack, but let me see here. Wait, what? Where where's where this one? Oh, he's still he stayed inside the castle. Oh crap. Castle Adept, Castle Adept, well then. Well then, really give me much of a choice here, Aunt Desi. Ugh. Ugh. I don't really have much of a choice, do I, in this case?
just let them recover normal. How much does the healing cost? Four eleven for that. Need that to hold off the obviously going to respawn enemies. I'm going to send Weevil here to get more gold. Now that I have healer set up, I should be okay. Yep, my drink's almost empty. Fine. I'll probably uh, switch games after this mission, because it looks like we're going to be here for a bit longer. He's not going to be super easy to kill, so do this. They still have half HP when they respawn, I know. And I can kind of farm some extra experience with them that way, but still. Would he come after me in the new town? Not if I go right back, maybe. This is tricky because of the small amounts of um, characters I have to use here. Passive healing it gives me is good enough here. I don't really need to pay to super heal. Time limit's going down. Gonna send someone out. Use the healing command I can see here. The small amount of gold they gave really isn't that much, is it? Beetle healing up. I'm very quickly gonna have to send everyone out down there. I can't afford to just barricade myself in and defeat them over and over. The time limit's, like, absurdly fast. Do I go for it? Let them both just passively heal up to full, and then I'll go. And then Weevil can come support on the side there once he uh, liberates this for more gold. It definitely speeds up the passive healing to a uh, passable amount. In this mission, surviving to the end of the time limit is actually a win condition. Wait, what? Really? Was it? Can I check that? Uh, I don't think I can recheck that anywhere. And they're already coming. You get here. So if that's the case, I can just ignore fighting Scott then. I think if you attack the castle and actually, like... Wait, oh, oh, they're going for that now. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Yugi was gonna attack from behind. Or am I the one attacking from behind? They're attacking from the front. It doesn't matter. So it's probably... So it's better for me to let the time limit run out. I'm sorry, I usually skip the victory conditions because it's usually just win, like, uh, beat the bad guy. But I didn't realize it was different this time. Because the thing is, if I send people down to them, I'm just going to be in trouble. I mean, it was probably easier for me to do last time because when I did Kaiba second, I obviously had, like, the Harpy Ladies and the Dark Magician spells to spam. This is one of the only missions with a unique win condition, okay. I don't think you can actually fight Scott in this mission. So, like, if I engage the castle with him just there, the mission- it just, like, Yugi shows up in cutscene? Because I genuinely can't remember what happened last time. But that does sound vaguely familiar. Well, either way... 
I gave myself the setup, so I may as well just, like, get the experience for my money's worth now. It's on Yugi's side, I think you don't fight Scott. Here we go. So, are we, sh are we sure the time limit applies to both Kaiba and Yugi, then? I can't really, like, roll back the footage as I'm playing, so I can't check. Okay, win. Because if it's safe to wait out the timer, I can do that just fine. It'd probably be better for me. Time limit 100% applies to Kaiba. Okay, just want to be sure. Okay, reset you up front. Because if I can do this, this would just give me a decent benefit for going into the next missions. I think, like, they pretty much expect you to, because it seems like they give Scott a pretty competent monster. Even by the standards of me having, like, the, um... All the equip items like if you didn't have like stacked monsters right now you probably this probably would be impossible otherwise getting rid of these guys when they're at half health why passively heal will be like child's play now this does give me a chance to catch up kaiba and some of the other characters after I let Mokuba slaughter everything, even though I'm using some of Mokuba's monsters. Okay, he's guarding. He's got nothing. That Hellhound doesn't really have a lot of AP when it comes into battle, does it? Get a little Vortex. Get a little Razzle Dazzle. No, that's actually the name of Three-Headed Jito's attack. If I could get people to uh, Marshall level 20, that might be a boost. Well, it did apply to uh, Kaiba there, though, but we'll see. What mission do I get Blue Eyes again? I can't even remember now that I... Let me, let me open this. Blue Eyes, Blue Eyes. Mission 14. Okay. Wow, there's actually a ton of monsters to recruit at mission 14. Wow, there's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, plus 3 blue eyes. 10 monsters! Holy crap! Jeez! So is that guy just gonna stay down there now? Or is he gonna just try and go for the main base? I don't think taking it back gives me any extra money. It's not real reason to. soon, but we're not going to be getting to that today. I'm near near in three hours. That's usually about the time I'll do. I'll do like three to four hours of a game. And I wanted to start Oracle of Ages today for sure, so we're going to do that next. Nothing to recruit for a bunch of missions than ten at once. Love this game. Yeah, they uh really, really set it up weird. But we need to get Blue Eyes, because Blue Eyes cool. And they should have let Kaiba be the one to take them out. It's okay. Okay, they're hitting my beetle. Finish the tank. The spider just has no action points, so I don't really need to worry about it. Almost. Yeah, despite dragons being bad, blue eyes is good, because blue eyes cool. Blue eyes just stupid cool. They have crazy scaling. Okay, that's good. That makes up for the fact that I can't give them, like, super buff items, but I can just give them medicine, I guess. Like, there's, there's no good equip items for Dragon other than the no-miss thing. I guess I could give each one of them one of that, a polymerization slot, and red medicine. I don't know. Oh, nice. Weevil got an extra action point. Perfect. 
That's fantastic. Oh, crap. Okay, he hit the thing. You're at half health. You don't stand a chance. Imagine if these guys all came with uh, big stacks of medicine. The only thing I, I'm really disliking about this mission is this team of dragons just takes forever with their attack animations. I gotta heal Zonky. I just realized it's a bit low on health there. Stampede. Ow. Ow. He has to spit three times. That's the rule. Okay. I'd say maybe next time I'll be able to do the Blue Eyes mission. Like, what's the, what's the mission I'm on again right now? Uh. Yeah, this is 11. And the next one is 12 with the Lava Battle Guard that I can't get. Then Mission 13 has Insect Queen and Larva Moth. And Queen of Autumn Leaves for some reason. I have Cocoon of Evolution, so hopefully... Is, is Great Moth actually any good? I don't know if they made it good or not. Is it, like, super good if you give it to Weevil? It's great. Okay. It's really good. All right, I'll, I hope that's that's good then. I'll probably give it to Weevil. I'll probably have like a spread attack for all I know. It's a cool thing to show that off. Huge HP and good damage. Okay. So I'll make sure to recruit that next episode. I get the feeling Mission 14 is going to take a long time though, because there's literally 10 monsters to recruit in that. The blue eyes you get all at once, but even without them, it's like absurd. Ah, come on, Pegasus. Hit level 20. As a, its special's bad. Okay, I thought its special would be what makes it good, but whatever. Okay, you get back in there. So do you. Pretty quick mission, honestly. I don't remember it, so it may have been... Here they come. The thing is, even if I were to go at Scott right now, like, I'm sure I probably went after Scott when I played this last time because I was doing Kaiba second, so I had all Yugi's monsters overpowered and everything. Like, I'm sure I did that. But in the case of this right now, if I were to go at him and, uh... He just kind of, like, like some of his guys happen to respawn or something in that situation, and I get caught in an infant battle loop. I'm pretty much just dead and have to start over. Especially if I would have sent Kaiba. Oh, that's right. I can give Moth Beast Fangs because insects count as beasts in this, because they kind of, like, they kind of just combine some monster types for the heck, for the sake of it. Okay, you're guarding. That won't help you, though. Finish you off. He's guarding. Well, I have the chance. I'll use a medicine unbox. I wonder, is there any... The Swamp and Lava Battle Guard, are they even any good? Like, do they have, like, a, a special, like, combination attack if you get them? Of course, you have to, like, play through the game so many times just to get that, because... You have to beat both campaigns to get Joey's campaign, then you have to beat Joey's campaign to get it, then you gotta replay Kaiba's campaign to this point. By the time you're able to recruit it, like, uh, the base stats for every monster will be, like, at level 91. 
All right, here we go. They do? Is it any good? I can't imagine it being that good at that point. It's a team, as a team wiping good attack. That's good and all, but by the time you get it, you've already beaten the game so many times, it's like, who cares? That's the thing that bothers me about it. Alright, finish him off. It's very risky to just go after Scott right now. Plus, the way the mission's designed, I don't think they even want you to try and do that. Both his monsters have Castle Adept. Or two of his monsters have Castle Adept. Plus, he had someone staying in there last time, so... Hmm. Like, uh, I could go for it if I spent all my money on healing my monsters. There we are. At that point, I'm just spending money to lose experience points, though. That's kind of the problem. You're back. Back. Internet went down. That sucks. Hug a teddy. That'll make it come back faster next time. Everyone knows bears make internet, like, recover faster or something like that. I don't even know what I'm saying. Slash it. Photon stampede. Pop, pop. Teddy, the internet repair bear. That's right. Never question the bear. I better use some medicine while I got the chance. Hopefully, doing things this way means, uh, during the next mission, I'll be able to just, like, stomp through many enemies, too. Alright, looks good. Alright, there's that. Oh, man. I'm gonna have to fight at least two more waves of that. Do I really want to do that? <laughs> I don't know. This is where the Imperial Navy is based. That guy seems to chill over there, but what if he decides to go for the home base if I go for Scott now? He's already at full health again, being down there. just took out the wave. I guess I'm gonna try. I can always retreat, hopefully. I can't do two more waves of that in a row. Like, I'm, I'm trying to justify it, but it's like, I don't know. I don't really want to. Middle one's got them. They have two packs of medicine each. Oh my god, they're not messing around. Crap, I'm gonna need to send him in. He's back up here. Let's get you in to help, too. I'm gonna have to take him out. Like, they can all just spawn another wave any second now. Go If I go for it now, maybe I have a chance. You know, it's nighttime. He's in the corner of the map. Taking out two entire waves of that was already more than enough experience, too, I guess. Don't spawn in, don't spawn in, don't spawn in. I gave Kaiba a more faster monster.
Come on, I'm right here. Let me show you once and for all that I am the law. Okay. I don't know how much time I have. Okay, so now I gotta take out those two lads on the side. Like, his very- his mission and team are completely built around for you, like, wanting to t uh, to use the timer to win the mission. Let's see how well this goes, I guess. I need a critical hit to make it work. Even paralysis. Ooh, hang on, I might be able to do it. One more, one more. No! Okay, he used blue instead of red. Not gonna lie, that's pretty cringe, Scott. Look at me, I'm the game dev. I gave myself all the healing items. I'm cool. I could also potentially get lucky and paralyze the two with medicine. I think I have a chance in this now, actually. Oh, I actually did it. Wow. Okay. I'm actually doing it. I thought this was might pretty much blow up in my face, but here we are. I knew only Kaiba would have a chance at doing it because of the paralysis. Like, I probably skipped over a turn for the other one to use red medicine. It's like, he gives them everything. Two packs of medicine, castle adept, all the action points. These guys are literally designed to tell you to go away and wait out the timer. I could go- I could farm so much experience, but I really don't want to fight the dragons again. Two waves was enough. Yeah, I'm gonna beat him now. Perfect. I like how his, uh, art style is clearly just different on the icons. It's so funny. Is Relinquished even in this game, now that I think about it? Relinquish, Thousand Eyes, Restrict? Are they here at all? Nope. Okay. I missed. It's okay. Damn, I should have had more faith in this team. They're doing it. Still, buying that healer was, like, mandatory. Oh. Crap, please. If he spawn- if some of his other, uh, friends spawn in, like, a sp in the split second it takes me to come back here, this is really bad. Come on, come on, come on. Please don't, please don't. Come on. It might- with how fast the timer's going, it might actually be only, um... Only, like, uh... One more wave I would've had to fight, but this is also fine. Okay, nice, I did it. Beating his monster specifically gave a crap ton of experience, so I think it was worth it to go for him instead of uh, the spawns after all. And liberating this also gave me some extra money, so I guess that's fine. Your units to the rear have been wiped out, Scott. You're all alone. Your ambitions stop right here. Huh? How about that? Kaiba here was just a decoy. Not bad, kids. Not bad at all. You're awfully calm for someone that's about to get beaten. You're the one that's all alone now. Ha 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 ha. You all fought wonderfully. To be honest, you exceeded my expectations. I underestimated you. Hmm, perhaps I should have handled things myself. It must have been too much for my stand-in. Stand-in? Why, yes, the Scott you've been dealing with here is just a robot that I've been controlling remotely. I'm a very busy man, you know, but I should have taken the time to face you myself. I see that now. Oh well, there's always next time, till we meet again. Have fun, and play safe. <laughs> he was a robot. Hologram. Program. Dude. He's gone. 
Maybe the original Japanese text meant something along the lines as like bot player and the translators put robot. Because robot doesn't really make sense in the context of being stuck in a virtual world. Raid. So you're going to go? There's nothing I can do to stop you? I used you, Yugi, so then I could defeat an enemy. That's all. The next we meet, I may decide to attack you. So long, Yugi. You make it out alive, we'll probably meet again. Working together, Kaiba and Yugi manage to elude the forces Scott sent after them. However, Kaiba does not want to join forces with Yugi and has decided to move on and strengthen his forces. Kaiba's exhausted army is having trouble facing his new this new enemy and rebuilding its ranks. Kaiba's forces learn that two very large supply units from Scott's army will be passing through Yuruvi Canyon. Kaiba decides to attack these units and steal the bulk of, of Scott's supplies. Alright. I can put in six marshals again, so I'm gonna have to build the team. I think I should, uh, yeah, set you up to be better. I don't really want to invest in you for, just because of Constructor. So next time when I come back, I'll use I'll use uh, four marshals again. Level are you at? 19? Yeah. Until we get Mokuba back, is Mokuba better? We can definitely set this up for sure. We just passed over three hours. So this is a good stopping point. I don't want to sit in for another hour plus mission. We got some good level ups though, that's for sure. Worked out just fine. Um, how many missions did I actually get through th today? Uh, let's see. We're on mission 12. And last one was nine. I only did three? Damn, felt like longer, but that's just how it is sometimes. We don't get Mokuba back for a while, yeah. That's unfortunate. We do get other characters with Kaiba, I'm pretty sure. Those empty slots seem to indicate that. But we're gonna get ready to switch games here on Twitch if you're watching on YouTube. Hope you're still enjoying this series. Have a good night. Bye-bye.